to Better You. I'm your host, Cynthia Thompson. I'm here with Iris Sinclair, a makeup artist of the Carolinas. I'm sure if you have watched the credits, you have seen her name on several shows that have been filmed here in Charlotte and movies, too. Iris has been on our show before, and she's given our preteens some tips on how to apply makeup, a teenager, how to apply makeup, and now we have a young adult with us. She's going to give her some tips on how to apply makeup and some skin care things that she needs to really be thinking about right now. Thank you for joining me today, Iris. Thank you, Cynthia, for having me. What, well, Iris, I have been keeping you busy with these makeovers, yes, but I have. think it's important for us to do one for a young adult. Now, this young lady will be entering college in a couple of weeks, and we want to give her some tips on how to apply her makeup and take care of her skin while she's away at school. So... What's the first thing we need to do before we even start anything with makeup? We want to make sure that she's cleansing, hydrating, toning, uh -huh. uh, and moisturizing her skin. With her being a young adult going into an adulthood, what are some things that she needs to make sure she does for her skin? She, well, she wants to make sure she starts to uh, treat her skin for early signs of aging. Uh -huh. So at this point, at 18, I always say make sure you're using uh, your first treatment product, uh -huh. which is an eye cream. Ah. You want to make sure you start preserving your eye area because uh -huh. that's normally the first thing to go. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you want to preserve that at an early age. Even as a young adult? As a young adult, she wants to start using an eye cream. Wow. That is her first treatment product, yes. Is, even as an African-American young girl, she needs the eye cream? Yes, she does. Ah, I it did helps not to know preserve that. her skin. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay, and then now that we have her face all clean, what's the first thing that we need to do for her? We want to... Um, make sure she's using the correct foundation for her skin. Uh-huh. And what type of skin do you have? Dry. Dry skin? Dry, dry skin? So mm. this means she has the option of using a heavier liquid, uh -huh. a cream to powder, uh -huh. a dual finish powder. Um, the options are unlimited when you have dry skin. When you have dry skin. Huh, okay. So, and should she apply her makeup differently for dry skin as opposed to oily? No, she shouldn't. Okay. She still could be using, uh, well, her cream to powder uh -huh. if she uses that. And her powder in the cream, once it sets, uh -huh. settles down like a powder. Okay. But she still wants to use the foundation and a powder, just one that's, um, that's more hydrating. Okay. A water-based foundation powder would be great as well. On the other ladies, you put it on their pressure points. Would you do the same thing here for her foundation? Yes, I would. And we've already put her face on here. Uh -huh. And her blend is good. Uh -huh. So, yes, yeah, she does her pressure points here as well. One, two, three, four, even five, and blend <laughs> her foundation up. <laughs> now that we have her foundation on, what's the first next thing we should do? At this age, I like to introduce lipsticks. Ah. So what I would like to do is find a lipstick that she could wear every day. Uh huh. And then we build her face up from her lipstick. Okay. So I'm going to use a chubby stick, which is my favorite, uh -huh. use these fat sticks. I'm going to give her a little color. Should she use a lip liner? She doesn't have to use a lip liner for uh -huh. every day. And I see that you're making sure you're drawing in the little peak at the top of her lip. Yes, and you want to stay within the rim of your lip. Uh-huh. And if you go outside your lip line, uh -huh. you just want to take a Q-tip and fix it. And fix it. Mm -hmm. Ah, that is a pretty color it's a very, on you. Watch your lips together for me. And when she does that, it helps her lipstick to warm and melt with uh -huh. her body temperature. And what color is that? This is a um, coral. Ah, it's a coral. pretty. And so this is very flattering on her skin with uh -huh. her warm undertones. Uh -huh. So she can wear this lipstick with nothing else but mascara. And that's what you want your lipstick to do. You want ah. it to stand alone. So you're going to remember that, right? Yes. Coral <laughs> is your color. So what's the next thing we should apply the for her? The next thing I want to apply for her is her cheeks. Now with her skin tone, you mentioned that earlier, what color cheek should she wear or blush should she wear? Her blush should complement her lipstick. Ah. If not, she can definitely wear the earth peachy tones uh -huh. with no problems. Uh -huh. When she wear cool colors, it's going to be more dramatic for her. Mm -hmm. If she wear warm colors, it's going to be uh, more softer for her. When you say cool colors, what do you mean? Plums, blues, black, uh -huh. grays, those are her cool colors. Uh -huh. Those are her cool colors. And that's going to be a more dramatic look for her. And what because are the, she has a warm undertone. What are the warm colors? Uh, creams, golds, caramel. Anything that you see in the fall will be warm colors when ah. the leaves are falling. 
Okay. She's a warm undertone. Uh huh. So can she wear dark colors, or she is that such a thing? She can wear dark colors, but it's just a little bit more harsh on her ah, to wear see. darker colors. Mm -hmm. And that might scare people, huh? Yes. <laughs> After we put the blush on, uh huh. I like to go over, especially when you're dry, go over your face and set your powder. And why do you want to do that? Because when you're oily, your natural oils oxidizes your foundation and your powders and mm -hmm. softens it uh -huh. in your blush. When you're dry, the oxidation doesn't take place as fast. Uh -huh. Does it take, I'm sorry, doesn't take place as fast <laughs> as as if she was um, oily. Uh -huh. So I softens her blush with the powder. Huh. You know, Iris, let's take a short break. When okay. we come back, we're going to take care of her eyes, okay? okay. All right. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. Let's catch them before it's too late. To start helping students in your community, visit boostup.org. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Hey, I'm Anderson Cooper. As a parent, you want to make sure that your child knows how to deal with bullying when they see it happening. And chances are they want to help, but they don't really know how. I'll teach them that the best thing to do is calmly walk away, find a teacher or other adult, and speak up. And do your part. Be that adult they can talk to and trust will listen. Join me to help stop bullying. Go to stopbullying.gov to find out more. Hi, welcome back to Betty. I'm your host, Cynthia Thompson. I'm here with Iris Sinclair, and she's giving us some tips on doing makeup for a young adult. And she's giving us some really good advice about some things that she needs to think about right now as a young adult to take care of her skin. Now, Iris, before we went to break, we took care of her lips and her blush, and now we're on to the eyes, the window yes. of the soul. What should we do with the eyes of a person with this skin tone? Well, we're going to apply shadow base first, uh -huh. and I prefer to use the sticks because it's convenient, and I'm using an earth tone color for her. Uh huh. Now, you're using the stick. About how long would this last for her if she were to apply this every day? Um, about five months. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And it's just real subtle on the eye. Uh huh. Mmm. I can see the difference. Mm -hmm. Now, I think I asked you this on one of the other shows when we had a teenager on here. She should not be applying her makeup in her car, right? She should never be applying her makeup in her car. She should take time in the morning to do this. Allow yourself an extra 30 minutes to get up uh -huh. to get your face together because it's very important. Uh huh. You go into the adult world and you want your presentation to be complete. Mm -hmm. When you're applying for jobs and applying for school, mm -hmm. you want to look polished and finished. Okay, so we applied the base color for her eyes. Mm -hmm. Are we going to do anything else? Yes, we are. Now, with her beautiful eyes, we can leave it this way uh -huh. and do her mascara. Uh -huh. But instead, I'm going to... Do a little eyeliner? Mm-hmm. Give her a liner. Uh-huh. 
Now, what's the trick to making sure that you actually make a line and not a hilly line on your Well, you want to do small <laughs> sections. Uh-huh. Roll small sections is what you want to do. On the top and bottom? Uh, yes. If you're putting line on the top and bottom, you, the way I'm doing the short strokes here, you uh -huh. want to make sure it's connected. Okay. Always wondered how you did that mm -hmm. to make sure that the line was straight. <laughs> you just don't go straight across. You do little short lines. Uh-huh. And they meet. Okay. Does she need any on the lo lower lid? We can actually soften her on the lower lid if she looks up. Because she's a young adult mm -hmm. now. We can do softly smudging. Because I remember with the teenager, we didn't do that for the we teenager. We didn't do that for the teenager. How does that feel? It feels like it looks good. You feel like you look good? <laughs> and then we just want to clean away uh -huh. the residue. Now, if she wanted to really jazz up her eyeshadow, what are some things that she can do to add along to the base that we have right now? We can go underneath her brows with a highlighter. Uh huh. And create more of a contrast. Uh huh. And this gives the eyebrows a little lift, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Because I think the last time you talked about caring for the eyebrows, is mm -hmm. this something that she needs to be concerned about as a young adult? Yes, yeah, she does. She wants to make sure that she. Make well that she can tweeze or wax. Uh huh. Um, sometimes or threading. or threading, whatever works best for her skin. Uh huh. And so you're just cleaning up her eyebrows, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And you can do this with um, the powder, the correct? Powder. Mm -hmm. Because the pencil, let me think, you mentioned it, the pencil makes it look harsh. Yes, the pencil can be harsh. Uh huh. So now. I'm taking notes too. <laughs> You're going to also just smoke her outer rim here. Uh huh. Softly. And what color did you use to smoke? I'm using it with? a chocolate brown. Uh huh. She doesn't want to use black because that's too harsh for her skin mm -hmm, tone. For her correct. skin tone. I'm going to put mascara on both the eyes and let her see the difference. Open your eyes for me. And now when you're applying mascara, you want to make sure that you're not pumping your mascara and you're not sharing it. When you pull your brush out, you want to softly bend. Now it's important not to share mascara because... Bacteria and can spread through your mascara. You know, I don't think I asked you this before. Should she be sharing any of her makeup she at all? She should be sharing any of her makeup. Because germs are shared that mm -hmm. way. Now, would she need a eyelash curler for her eyelashes? She has curly lashes. And that's a good thing? That's a good thing. And thick, too. So mm -hmm. she doesn't need false eyelashes. No, she doesn't. Are you taking notes? <laughs> <laughs> Now, about how long would it take her to apply all of this makeup herself? Well, this could take her between 20 to 30 minutes. So, if she's beginning, in, when she's in college, she mm -hmm. just get up 30 minutes early. Yes. And do her face. Yes. And, and go as to you can class. see the difference in her eyes between. Let me see. The smoky. Oh yeah, I like the smoky. Mm-hmm. But it shows her, when she's going from night to day in her uh -huh. regular lifestyle, she shouldn't have to take everything off uh -huh. to go into night. She just wants to be able to blend into what she already has on by adding a liner to her lips mm -hmm. and contouring more in her crease. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure while she's at college, she's not going to have a lot of time to go to any night events, no, right? No, she won't. She'll be doing college stuff. Right? Right. <laughs> that was a quiet <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but if by chance you do get invited to an event 
um, at night, you will know the tricks. How to go. How to and go. I would suggest that they buy palettes that accommodate different shade ranges uh -huh. as versus individual shadows. Uh -huh. You know, I have seen some eyeshadows that offer for particular eye colors. Mm -hmm. Is that a good thing for her to start with? Uh, yes, but she can wear pretty much anything uh -huh. because makeup is trendy. You put it on, you take it off. It depends how you're feeling. Uh huh. Yes. So she's finished. She's finished. She is finished and she looks really nice too. What do you think of your makeover? I love it. It huh? looks older. It doesn't look like a little girl anymore. Oh, so you <laughs> want to look like a young lady, huh? Yes. And you really do. So now that we have her all made up, she's going off to college. Whenever she ends her day at school and she's back in her dorm room, what does she need to do in order to take off all of this? She wants to use an eye makeup remover to remove all of her shadow and mascara. Uh huh. And sometimes her lips if she's wearing a long wearing lip liner. And then she wants to use a cleanser, makeup wipes. Uh huh. Um, to remove her makeup and cleanse and tone and hydro moisturize her skin at night. Uh huh. Hmm. So what do you think? I love it. You really like it? Yes. Does she need to use any eye cream at night? Yes, she does. Eye cream AM and PM. Uh-huh. And drink plenty of water. Well, Iris, I want to ask you one more question, but we're going to take a break first because okay. I don't want you to think about the answer. All right? All right. And when we come back, I'm going to ask you the special question. Okay. I've been dying to ask. Okay? Uh-huh. All right. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We're gonna beat them and bust them. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. G morning, sunshine. Wakey, wakey. You up? What'd you dream about? Me? JK. Text me back. I'll keep texting till you wake up. Are your parents home later? Is this something I did? Exclamation point. Huge fight right this now. isn't a joke. Hello? Text me. Know what? What? Since I got adopted, I've learned a lot about these humans. Uh, I know. I mean, check out these two. It's Flirt City over here. Yeah, I noticed that. It looks like my human is definitely into your human. Oh, look! I think she's getting his number. Nice. Your human's got some sweet moves. Takes after his dog. <laughs> oh, look, they're doing that thing where they put their arms around each other. She kicked up a leg. It's like in the movies. That's awesome. Looks like we're going to be hanging out a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> I'm a mommy. I love kids. I'm responsible, loving, nurturing. <laughs> parents a little how to work. You don't have to be perfect. Where's mommy? To be a perfect parent. Here I am. Hi, welcome back to Betty. I'm your host, Cynthia Thompson. I'm here with Iris Sinclair, the makeup artist of the Carolinas. And before we went on break, I told Iris I had a special question for her. Well, a couple questions for you. You don't mind sitting here waiting for the answers, do you? I'm fine. Iris, why did you start applying makeup for folks? How did you get started doing this? Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> I look at the world as a canvas and I love, uh -huh. um, I used to like art as uh -huh. a child and I've always loved color uh -huh. and I've always known that I was going to be a makeup artist before it was a career. Ah. Yeah. As a little girl I knew I would do makeup. Uh -huh. Do you oftentimes um, have workshops or classes for teenagers on how to apply makeup? I do. Ah, I do. that's good. Mm -hmm. And if by chance someone wanted to contact you about one of these classes, how could they contact you? Uh, through email. Uh -huh. Cell phone? Uh-huh. Yes. And just call you and set something up. And set something up, yes. You know, Iris, I want to thank you so much for joining me. I learned a lot about applying makeup for a young adult. And now I know I need to start doing a little more for my <laughs> skin care, too, every day. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my show, Better You, here on Public Access 21, every Wednesday night at 6 p.m.